everybody, welcome back. Today's topic, does John Deere have a proprietary problem? Well, I know some of you seem to think so, but guess what? You know what? Let's look at the whole picture. Let's give you all the angles and see if we can make a definitive decision. Maybe we can all agree in the end. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Let's find out. But before we get into it, if you are looking for an attachment for your tractor for a JDQA or the non-proprietary, SSQA. Well, we can help you out. We ship attachments all over the country. So if you need a set of pallet forks or a snow pusher or a grapple or a bale spear or a replacement bucket, the list goes on. Check out goodworkstractors.com. And if you enjoyed today's video, want to see more, I'd love to have you subscribe. Just hit that button right down below. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're talking about today. The John Deere Quick Attach. And that's these carrier brackets right here. You can see a pair of them on the end of the front end loader. Now, for those of you with a keen eye, you're going to notice this is the exact same, even on a big four series versus a little one series, all right? So I can take this bigger bucket, put it on the smaller tractor, take this little bucket, put it on the bigger tractor, it's gonna connect. And honestly, I think it's a really good system. So what does this mean to you? Is this a big problem? Is it worth losing sleep over? Sometimes I feel like, and, and myself included, we, we already have a preconceived notion about a certain brand, a certain manufacturer. Maybe you don't like the John Deere right to repair, so you're just trying to pile on and, and justify why you don't like a certain uh, piece of equipment. And if you think I have some love affair with John Deere, well, you'd be wrong. I've actually made videos specifically calling out, complaining, bashing, and so on, all the things, all the problems that John Deere has with their equipment. But I just see a lot of negativity about this system, and I actually happen to enjoy it. But if you're only getting one side of the story, then you might make a decision with bad information. All right, so of course, proprietary proprietary in and of itself is not a problem. So as it's communicated to me, typically what folks have an issue with being proprietary, they think that you can only get attachments from John Deere to fit the John Deere Quick Attach. And on top of that, they also think they're gonna charge a premium for those attachments, where if you get a Skid Steer Quick Attach attachment, it's gonna be cheaper, you know, cost less than a John Deere Quick Attach attachment. And then I'm also told, well, I can't use my neighbor's attachments. He has a Skid Steer Quick Attach. I've got a John Deere Quick Attach. What's that all about? Well, addressing that first point that you can only buy John Deere Quick Attach attachments from John Deere, that's just not true. I am not a John Deere dealer. I have absolutely no affiliation with them whatsoever. I myself sell and ship John Deere quick attach attachments all over the country from a variety of manufacturers that have nothing to do with John Deere. Anything you want for your front end loader, whether it's John Deere quick attach or Skid Steer quick attach, I sell and ship all the time. Pallet forks, buckets, snow pushers, snow plows, grapples, bale spears, you name it, I can get it and ship it to you. So that's just not true. You have a lot of options, not just buying right through John Deere. Now, if you're going to use your neighbor or your buddy's attachments for your tractor, I think we're making a pretty big assumption that you have a similarly sized piece of equipment because you want to have your attachments that are sized appropriately. Otherwise, there could be potential damage that occurs if the attachment is too lightweight, not built heavy enough for it, or maybe it's undersized. You know, there's there's some other factors that come into play. And really, when I'm when I'm talking to customers about when they want to buy a tractor, it rarely comes up that, hey, I've got a, a neighbor down the road where I can borrow all of this stuff. So I think that's a pretty small amount of folks out there that are using their buddy's attachments. Now to address the point that John Deere quick attach attachments are going to cost you more money, again, that's just not true. Maybe if you are getting it right through your John Deere dealer, the same thing could be said if you're going right through your Kubota dealer. But if you look in the aftermarket world, there is a ton of high quality solutions that are out there. And I'm telling you, when I sell a set of pallet forks, if they're John Deere Quick Attach or Skid Steer Quick Attach, it's the exact same price. And that's across the board. There's not a single item I sell when the JDQA costs you more. Now, as far as using your neighbor's Skid Steer Quick Attach attachments with your John Deere Quick Attach, well, that is a little bit more complicated, right? You're not gonna be able to do that just right off the shelf. You can get something called a JDQA to an SSQA adapter. So basically it's a John Deere quick attach on the backside, and then on the front, it's a plate to interface with a skid steer quick attach attachment. And so that is a downside, right? You would have to pay for that additional adapter just to have it there. But the flip side is if you had access then to use a whole bunch of different skid steer quick attach, stuff for your front end loader that could save you a lot of money in the long run. Oh, and just so you know, we can also sell you those adapters if you need them. But for those of you that are ordering John Deere tractors brand new, there's an option that you guys may not know about and a lot of the dealers probably don't know about either, but you can actually order this equipment with a skid steer quick attach on there. You know what, before we go any further, I gotta stop saying these long phrases. We're gonna go with JDQA and SSQA, so figure that out. JDQA, John Deere quick attach, SSQA, skid steer quick attach. 
So what I think a lot of folks miss is the fact that John Deere on essentially every tractor they make anymore includes this quick attach system in the base price when they're quoting it to you. In fact, I don't even know if you told them, no, I want a pinned on bucket so it's not quick attach. I'm not even sure they could do that for you. And so it's kind of complaining about getting something for free, you know, which it rubs me the wrong way. I think folks look at this and they think, well, you're paying for this system here, but this is included in their standard, their base setup just yesterday on a Kubota L2501 that a customer sent me, he had a pinned bucket, right? Because the base price from Kubota, from most other manufacturers, I know that some dealers won't sell without a skid steer quick attack. Oh, I did it won't sell without an SSQA, but a lot of dealers, they wanna get the lowest price and most competitive price possible. So they're gonna strip things down if they can, or just give you the cheapest configuration, and that's gonna be a pin bucket, and you're paying an upcharge or a premium to get the SSQA. So all that said, that should really eliminate the problem right there. Yes, this is proprietary, okay? John Deere has ownership of this design. It's a good design, but it does not mean you're limited to just the JDQA. You do have an option to go SSQA if you are buying one of these tractors brand new. Guys, so if you are unfamiliar with what this system is, you can see where this paint's rubbing off on top of these carrier brackets. Well, there is a hook that's gonna be on the back of your loader attachment where this just slides underneath and rests on there. And then you're also gonna see a hole right down here in the bottom of each corner there's going to be an associated pin that's on the back of the bucket in this case but it could be a set of pallet forks or that snow pusher or that grapple or whatever it is and that's just going to mate right up to it and that's going to be your attachment or your connection style now the SSQA or the skid steer quick attach, you may also hear it called the universal quick attach because it's that popular. So you're gonna see that on Kubota as an option on Mahindra, Coyote, LS, all sorts of manufacturers, big time in the construction world as well. But the back of your attachments, you're gonna see like typically a whole square or rectangle, I should say, with a little lip that's welded on there and some holes in the bottom of that lip. And when you mate up your loader end of things, you're gonna fit these little brackets right underneath that lip pull it in tight, and then you're gonna have spring-loaded pins that are controlled by levers to lock it in or release it. So hopefully this video here makes that clear on how that operates, but these are two completely independent, unique, separate systems. They are not interchangeable. Now, I don't really have a preference between one system or the other. I think they both work very well. Personally, I think the JDQA is just slightly quicker to hook up. You don't have to reach around and bend over and mess with the levers um, attaching it or releasing it. You're just on the outside of the attachment the whole time with the JDQA. One other benefit that I think probably goes overlooked is that on smaller tractors like the 1025R, your Kubota BX, anything else, the JDQA is a lot less steel, a lot less material involved. So you're going to save typically 15, 20 pounds of weight compared to that skid steer quick attach frame that's on the same small tractor. And so maybe that's not a gigantic difference, but it is a step in the right direction. Now, as far as proprietary goes, you know, that's not the only proprietary thing that John Deere has, but you don't really hear complaints about their other proprietary systems, such as their quick park loader or their drive over auto connect mower deck. You know, these are very, very good systems, very well thought out systems, well engineered and I give John Deere props. They did a great job with that. You will hear folks complain about the mid-mount mower and it's a pain to hook up and it doesn't align and this and that and the other thing. Now that doesn't mean that your local John Deere dealer, that technician can't set things up properly because if you don't have it set up properly, it's not gonna work. So don't blame that on the system, blame that on the setup. And years ago, I actually bought a brand new John Deere 3046R and I used it for probably eight months. And every so often I felt like one side of the loader just kind of had some wiggle room to it, too much extra play, and I finally took the time to really investigate and see what was going on. Well, somehow when my tractor was being built and put together, the loader came in with two left-hand mounts, and somehow you could take one of the left-hand mounts and bolt it to the right side, but it would not latch in and seat properly, and so I was actually using that in a very dangerous application for close to a year. I think actually by the time I figured it out, it was over a year, and I did convince them to send me the proper right-hand mount and put it on there and it secured right in place. The point being, there can still be problems with a proprietary system, but in these cases here, these are not with the actual system itself. It's more with the technician or the setup of it. Well, hopefully this gives you a nice, well-rounded picture of what the actual JDQA is all about. You know, whether it's a proprietary problem or not, you know, I don't think so, but that's up to you. They're both good systems, the JDQA, the SSQA, you know, they make attachments for both. You don't have to worry about paying more for one or the other. They're widely available. Yeah, if you plan on using your buddy's attachments, you want to make sure you can connect to that. And 
you know, if you're ordering new, maybe go with the SSQA instead to make it happen. But the number one most important thing that I think we should all know and agree on is do not get a loader with a pinned on bucket. You will regret it. I send quotes out every day to folks that want to convert their pinned bucket to a quick attach so they can use those other attachments on their loader. I'm telling you, you're going to regret it. Don't do it. Again, we sell tractor attachments and we ship them all over the country. You gotta check out Goodworks Tractors. If you want something for the front end loader or the three point hitch as well, we can help. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and hit that subscribe button down below to see more. Thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon. Yeah.